Okay, well, I'm going to go over some of the untapped potential, at least what I see in Google Earth, um, for people who haven't been using it before. Um, so here's an example. This is Meteor Crater, and if you haven't been to Meteor Crater, it's it's kind of a sight to behold. It's in Arizona, obviously. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can see that it's not that exciting here. It looks like a big, you know, splotch. Now if I turn on terrain and kind of tilt downward, let me back up here a little bit. You can see it's a little more impressive. All right. But still, because they don't have much of a high resolution picture here, you're kind of limited in seeing how kind of grand this thing is. However, if you go to the internet, Google, and you do a search for keyhole bbs bbs.keyhole.com, I just went in here and I typed in meteor crater and did high resolution. And what I found down here was um, a high res overlay. Now, what's cool here is this is linked in. This Keyhole used to own this system before Google bought it and be it became Google Earth. But I'm going to do view in Google Earth. And what it'll do, it'll download it and install it. And you can see how much more incredible the view is. All right, so if I was to just kind of drag down a little bit. This up here is the gift shop, and you can see the ridge lines, the detail, even where there's been a little bit of erosion and water running into the crater. See the parking lot? These are trucks and stuff, so you can get an idea how huge this is. Anyway, so that's one example of this high-res overlay. Okay, another cool place to check out is up here on earth.google.com slash sites and it has some featured places for example I'm gonna go ahead and click on the file next to the Grand Canyon here what it's gonna do is it's gonna fly us over to the Grand Canyon and it's gonna put the higher resolution overlays in there now you can see what it looks like without the overlays and hopefully we'll get the overlays in here alright for some reason I'm running slow. Again, if you have a higher resolution graphics card or something, my computer's not really set up for for nice graphics, so it's a little slow. Okay, so you can see these higher resolution scenes here, and I can drag backward. And you'll see here that this area isn't quite high resolution yet, so it's going to take a second to do its rendering. All right. But again, the cool thing is I can tilt this I can zoom in or out and really if I gave it a little um, a little pull and let go and I can just let this now coast through the Grand Canyon now you'll see at the bottom the streaming never quite catches up again faster computer or faster graphics card and you wouldn't have that problem but it's pretty amazing that, and this isn't just you know, made up virtual stuff. This is actual ridge lines and stuff that are in the Grand Canyon. Um, all right. So there you go. And if I was to, let's see here, go straight up, you can even get an interesting view this way. I kind of, let me go down further here. I'll leave the terrain turned on. So you can get an idea as this thing scrolls past of the valleys and stuff. All right. And again, if I stop, it'll take a few seconds, and then you'll see it kind of give that resolution. Um, it's it's a really an amazing program. So I'm going to jump back over here now and turn on like the Lincoln Memorial. Again, back to Washington D.C. Okay, we're zooming on in there. Now you can see that's a pretty high resolution graphic of the Lincoln Memorial. I wish it had the building and stuff set up. Actually, it may. It does. One more thing. This Golden Gate Bridge, when we went and did the view of San Francisco before, it didn't have a bridge. It just had looking, it looked like a line was painted across the water. So if I put the Golden Gate Bridge on here now and 
look, hopefully we'll get a higher resolution. There we go. Not only do we have a higher resolution, but we have an actual bridge. All right, which really helps when you're trying to get a, a view of what the skyline and stuff is going to look like. All right, so there you have it. Um, I hope you find this interesting, and you know I'm going to do a little, a few more tutorials on Google Earth, but this kind of gives you an idea of how you can import things from the outside. So thank you very much.